Welcome to Merida, a beautiful colonial city located in the state of Yucatan in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. We spent almost two weeks in this vibrant city. After moving out of our temporary mansion, we checked into our new apartment and we were ready to explore what quickly became one of our favorite places we visited during our 70-day trip throughout the peninsula. Good morning guys, welcome to the beautiful city of Merida. This is the biggest city that we'll be visiting during our 70-day trip throughout the Yucatan Peninsula. Over 1 million people live here and it definitely feels that way. It's loud and hectic and there's a lot of good energy and we are loving it here so far. Yeah, Merida is one of Mexico's most famous colonial cities and it's filled with interesting history and colonial charms. Like there's beautiful mansions everywhere and all these beautiful parks. But before we start exploring, we're gonna head to the local market so we need to get some breakfast. Yes, we're hungry. So let's go. made it to Lucas de Galvez Market. This is the second market we stopped by. The first place was totally dead, but I'm happy that we ended up here. This is like your typical Mexican market. There's no order to anything. So like a shoe repair is next to a food stand, is next to a hat store, is next to like a kitchen supply store. So it's just complete chaos here, but it's so much fun. And also there's tons of restaurants here. So we have a lot to choose from. We'll have to see what looks good. Like it's not only so much cheaper, but everything it looks so fresh and everyone's like talking to you and asking you, oh, buy this, oh, buy this is 15, this is 10, this is that. So it seems like more of like a, an experience to do it here. <laughs> Two hours later and it's finally time for breakfast. It was so much fun exploring the market and just getting lost in all of the chaos. Now we're gonna enjoy our sandwiches, our tortas, and then we're gonna show you around the rest of Merida. We are back in Merida's Plaza Grande and this place is super awesome. You can really get a sense of like the local vibe. Everyone's like sitting down, I think because there's Wi-Fi. So a lot of people are just like sitting on the benches on their phone or reading. The kids are playing with the pigeons. Other people are feeding them. 
There's so much happening and what's beautiful about this square is that it's surrounded by some of the city's most iconic buildings. So the city hall is here and it's a beautiful yellow building. Also a mansion called Casa Montejo, which is the house of Merida's founder. And you can go in, it's a free museum. And our next stop is the Cathedral of Merida, which is the oldest cathedral in the Americas. Now I can explain why visiting this church is interesting not only because it is the oldest cathedral in the Americas but because it was actually built using blocks from a Mayan pyramid that was right across the street and the thing is that the Catholics back then they didn't really like the Mayans that much because they idolized different gods and they had all their rituals and they didn't really respect that so they basically tried to erase their entire culture and they burned their stuff, destroy their temples and that's how this cathedral was built. And if you notice inside, there's not much in the walls and that's because one of Medida's governor later, like he did not like what the church did to the Mayans. So he basically organized people to come break the church, steal everything. So they left it like that. And the only thing is a giant crucifix that fun fact, we learned that is the biggest crucifix inside a church. Fun facts for days in Merida. finishing break. We're having an iced latte because it's already 92 degrees in Merida and it's getting to 98. It's super hot in Yucatan. But the coffee's pretty good. This is one of the best places in Merida for coffee. I think we're paying almost double what we paid for breakfast, but it's pretty good. So I'm not complaining. In this square right here is called Santa Lucia. They have something called Serenata Yucateca and it's very traditional and they do it on Thursday nights. We're gonna come back tomorrow so we can show it to you. and now we are taking you to a place very popular called Paseo Montejo. Welcome to Paseo Montejo. This is the most famous avenue in all of Merida. A quick history lesson for you guys. Francisco de Montejo, he was a Spanish conquistador and he is the one that conquered this city from Mayans and then founded Merida. And another interesting fact about Francisco, he was obsessed with Europe, specifically Paris, France, and he designed the Paseo de Montejo to resemble the Champs Elysees. We don't really see the resemblance, but it is a nice place to just check out and walk, so we'll leave it up to you. This 
building behind me is called El Minaret and when we saw it on the internet we were like okay we have to go see it. Minaret is a tower outside mosques where, cult, where they do the culture prayer and of course it reminds us of Turkey so much. And we have to come see it and it's just, it feels good. Turkey, we miss you. We miss you so much that the other day in Bacalar we were in a restaurant and the owner was Turkish and he received like family or friends and they started like speaking in Turkish and we almost like went to their table and hugged them. Oh, Turkey. Turkey the country. <laughs> and the last fun fact of the day is that Merida was the most wealthy city in all of Mexico in the early 1900s. And this is because they grew like an agave plant that produced a fiber that they made rope and they had massive haciendas and they made tons of money. That's why there are also very beautiful mansions all along the paseo. What time is it? It's time to find a bar for La Negrita. Epa. Cantina. It's cantina time. This is where we're doing drinks and dinner tonight. It's a traditional Mexican cantina. The cantinas are a little bit different because you enter with those like swinging doors and it's like mostly about drinking, but they do serve a little bit of food. But this one is especially famous for having great live music. It's been around for like a hundred years and it's famous in Merida. You can already hear like the music coming in. I didn't order a blue drink, but that's what I got. It's delicious still. And I didn't know it would be the size of my head. <laughs> Cheers. I like to dance in my chair. Buen provecho, mi negrita. We almost forgot to close the video. We're on the way home. That cantina was fun, right? Yeah, it was a great time. It probably wasn't the most authentic cantina in town, but the band was super into it. They had good Cuban music. Everyone was dancing. Yeah, it was more Cuban than Mexican. But anyways, we hope you enjoy exploring Merida with us today. We have a couple day trips planned. We're going to show you one of them. The other one, we already decided that we're not going to do a video, but we're going to put those clips in here so you guys can check them out when you come to Merida. Thank Enjoy you for the clips. watching. Yeah. Bye. It's time to shower. <laughs>